Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. 25-year-old Iowa resident Salvador Sandoval Jr. has been found guilty. This is another January 6th defendant who believed he did nothing wrong. So instead of accepting a plea deal, Sandoval opted for a bench trial. And on Friday, December 16th, U.S. District Judge Thomas Hogan found Sandoval guilty on all 12 counts. Four counts of assaulting, resisting, or impeding officers, obstructing an official proceeding, civil disorder, entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, two counts of physical violence, and parading or demonstrating in a capital. Sandoval was one of these men who went to D.C. with his mom, Deborah. They were both supposed to go before the judge for the bench trial, but for some reason at the very last minute, like literally that day, Deborah agreed to take a plea deal. So she is likely going to receive a slap on the wrist. As for Salvador, the obstruction charge comes with a maximum of 20 years in prison. But as I always mention, you guys, it, you know, sentencing guidelines are always much lower than that. I doubt it's going to be anywhere near 20 years, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's like a five-year sentence, given who the judge is, because Judge Hogan is a Reagan appointee and he takes the law very seriously. And with four convictions for assaulting officers, I think Salvador is in big trouble. So anyway, both Salvador and Deborah, his mother, will be sentenced on August 25th of next year, 2023. So I'll let you guys know how that goes down. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate. Appreciate all of you. Appreciate you watching and taking the time to comment and everything else that you all do for me. So love you guys. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.